Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to everyone. It is a beautiful day. How is everyone doing here in Team Effort Network? Are we having a beautiful beginning of a brand new day? New beginnings begin. How is your evening and how is your day starting off? I hope it's starting off with a smile on your face and a bright idea in your head. I think we heard some pretty good um, information about having good ideas and how they are good bank deposits and how they can pay off when you have a good idea. I hope that we're really thinking on different ways to strategize and share what we're doing here in Team Effort Network because, guys, you all are making a difference around the globe. One spray, one drink, and one video at a time. So you need to just give yourself a hand, pat yourself on the back, and just be happy about what you're doing. Well, you have dialed into the Team Effort Lifestyle Call. This is your host. Pastor Lisa McDowell with my business partner, two star Pastor Del Wafer. And the line is open. Introduce yourself. Where are you calling in from? Akisha, calling in from Berkeley, California. Woohoo! That's Akisha from Berkeley, California. Hi, Akisha, how are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Can't wait to talk to you today. Yeah, see I can't what, wait. See what, you've been, see what you've been up to. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have. Yeah. <laughs> well, family, keep it coming with us, with us this morning. Go right ahead. Introduce yourself. Denise, Denise Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. All right, Miss go, Denise, Denise in Dayton, Ohio. What's going on, Denise? Everything is fabulous. Everything Wonderful. Is everything is everything, right? <laughs> everything is awesome. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Keep it coming. Sandy was is with us this morning. Jesse Bowden. Hey, Jesse. What's going on, buddy? Hey, I was standing past the knees. I'm getting ready for the trip to Fedville. We're trying to blow up that area and get things started down there and introduce those folks down there to our remarkable sprays. And I'm fired up and ready to go and make it happen. That's awesome. Fedville, North Carolina. Here they come. Here they come. Watch out. Be ready. <laughs> they come That's with right. a full force, I'm telling you. <laughs> Thanks, exactly. Jesse. Oh, Who else is with us? Come on, Sam. Who else is with us this morning? Mr. Payday. Mr. Payday. Mr. Payday. Uh-huh. We're uh-huh. going around the yeah. We're going to get paid. I took a little day off yesterday. Huh, Mr. Payday? They got a little birthday yesterday, huh? Oh, yeah. Thank y'all for <laughs> wishing me a happy birthday. I appreciate it. It was the best birthday ever. Can we say happy birthday to Robert's family? He was on summer yesterday, but he's with us today. Can we just say happy birthday to Robert Smith? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday Robert. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, brother Robert from Atlanta, Georgia. What's happening, brother? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. What's up, Robert? 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 This is Vicki Soto from Louisville, Kentucky. Happy birthday, man. Hey, thank you, Biggie. Thank you. Biggie, Biggie, Biggie. Love you. Love you all. Y'all are terrible. Hi, Biggie. How are you, dear? <laughs> doing Biggie. great. Doing absolutely wonderful. Good it's morning, like, everybody. Isn't that, just, isn't that just like family? Just go on. Isn't that just like family? <laughs> <laughs> it does sound like family. Really, really <laughs> does. <laughs> I tell you. Well, family, keep it coming. Who else is with us this morning? Okay, we're good to go. All right, then let's go. Let's make it happen. The conference is now in presentation mode. Your line is muted. Family, as you all heard, Jesse, Paul Jackson, Robert Smith, Cassandra, and Beverly are heading to Fairville, North Carolina this coming weekend. So if you have guests in that area, they were there a month or so ago, and they really stirred things up. So now they're going back because folks are expecting them to come back. They come back the second time. You know, it's going to be double the power. So if you have guests in that area, you want to get them at the event, check the calendar of the event to get the location and the time where it would take place. And also here on the East Coast, we're going to be having another location in addition to where we meet on Thursday. We have another location on Tuesday's family. Starting next month of September, it's going to be in Oxon Hill, Maryland. You know, we have a lot, we have a lot of reps on that end of the Beltway, and you guys have asked for a location that's closer to that end. Well, guess what? Ask and you shall receive. And so that's being worked on today. Mr. Paul Jackson is out um, confirming it with us along with Peggy Butler. And we will have that. That will be confirmed uh, starting on Tuesday, 
September the 8th. So we're keeping these TTPs going because these TTPs need to happen for people to know uh, exactly what's being offered in Team Method Network. They can come and learn about the sprays. They can learn about, they can hear the many testimonies, meet the people, learn about the company, hear about the dual core double bonding compensation plan, and decide which package they want to come in on to get their business up and going. So the TTP is the perfect place for that to happen. So we want them to be popping up as many places as possible. Maureen Murphy Smith holds one every Sunday as well in her location. So there's one on Sundays, there's one on Thursdays, we have one on Tuesdays. Um, I believe LA is doing one during the week as well. So, um, you know, just stay tuned. Find out where the TTP about the TTPs are in your area and get your guests there. Also, at the top of the call, I want to remind everyone about the big event coming up starting on, uh, starting, look at me, starting. <laughs> the big event, the big East Coast Regional, Saturday, September the 26th. You're going to want to be in the house. All the great leaders that you're hearing on the call, plus some are going to be there to blow your business up. We want everyone to be a part of that. We are going to get together that Friday on the 25th at the Greenbelt Marriott. We will be there for fellowship, meet and greet to know one another, to exchange information, uh, just to celebrate and have a great time before we kick off Saturday's presentation. So if this is an event you want to embrace, you want to be there, just get, get, make sure you get your reservations. We need you to register. Reps, we need you to go online and get registered so we can have a perfect head count. So please go to www.vitaminspraysnow.com and click on event so we can have you and have your name and have you registered. And we know that you're coming, but we need you to register. We really need you to make that commitment. We heard it from your mouth, then put it on paper. We need you to commit. Go to www.vitaminspraysnow.com to make your reservations. Thank you. I'm going to stop right here. Bring on my business partner, two-star Dr. Pastor Dale Wafer. Are you there, sir? I'm here. Can you hear me? I can. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Doing wonderful. <laughs> Doing wonderful. It's good to hear about those new TTPs coming online. That's yes, going to be a huge, huge uh, benefit to the folks down south. Yeah. You know, they have, don't have to come all the way up north to the Beltway. They can come right there <laughs> and still make it here. It really convenient for uh, the Virginia team as well because yeah. it's right across the, it's right across the bridge. So. Uh, Looking forward to having a, a good turnout at that TTP. And, uh, you know, with Paul and uh, Peggy putting these things together, I think it's going to be an excellent time, uh, especially coming into September when people's schedules are back uh, to normal, kids are back in school, you know, the vacations are over, it's time to get back focused on business, and to get centered in on the three busiest uh, months in network marketing going into uh, December. So, uh, I think that's going to be a great opportunity to, to just continue to build uh, a brand for customers and representatives alike. And uh, the more and more TTPs we can have, uh, the better, because that just gives people an opportunity to get people uh, to them on those different days. And people may have uh, challenges on Monday, I mean, on Thursdays because of whatever reason, but now they have a couple other options, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's great. And like you said, it's on the end of the Beltway, it's close to Virginia. And uh, we can bring the Virginia team in there and the resource folks with having a problem traveling on the north side. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Well, family, it's another great day. We have another great leader on the conference today. And this woman, I tell you, I think she just stays just as excited as Denise Moore, just as excited as Vicki Soto, just as excited as Kevin Vaughn and myself. And she just adds to the passion. And I can see her smile through the phone. Uh, if anybody thought I could see her smile through the phone. Uh, you hear her every Thursday and Tuesday with uh, Mr. T show me the money. She does a beautiful job uh, working along with Mr. T and getting information out about Team Method Network on the show me the money call. So it's always a pleasure. We can bring her to the morning call. So she's there on the West Coast. Uh, so Miss Atisha from uh, Milkwood, California. Are you there this morning? I am here. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> We can indeed. How are you? <laughs> I am fine, fine. <laughs> so great to hear everybody's voice. Thanks so much for having me on the call. What's up? Oh, my goodness, girl. It's so good to have you on the call. You always bring so much fire and passion. And I, got, I was thinking about you the other day. I said, this girl, she has <laughs> been on fire since she came into Team Method Network. What is it that's keeping you lit up, smiling, excited, 
and passionate about this company. What's going on? You know, it, I was just sitting here thinking that I am like the hardest person to impress in business and in my social life. Like I keep to myself. I don't bother anybody and I don't want to be bothered to be quite honest. I know that sounds bad, but I'm just being honest. Um, and I just do my thing. However, when I met these these products, you know, and I tried them, I got results, got them quick, and in a significant way, it was all hands on, all bets were off then. You know, I, was, I wasn't a talker. You know, I would do public speaking, but <laughs> after that, it's like when I talk, I didn't have a filter when it came to talking about these products because, you know, they just opened my mouth, and I, I really could not help myself. Because, uh, you know, I had a genuine care uh, for people and just wanting to see people healthy, happy. And somebody, um, if somebody was going through something similar that I was going through, I was definitely going to share uh, with them my experience. But it's just sharing the product and coming into contact with people. These products are, they're incredible. And then Mel and Amy Gill, I mean, how could you not <laughs> be excited every day when you have something like this? I mean, yeah, I feel like an idiot when I talk about this stuff because it's so, so amazing, and I just run off at the mouth. <laughs> but that's what this product can make you do. What was it? Um, uh, just like the other day, Vicky was on the call. Vicky came on the call just, of course, to do some training, but she started talking about the product. She had an ache and a pain somewhere, and all of a sudden she thought about that testimony, and that testimony just took over. And yeah. that's what happened. You know, when you have something good to talk about, you just can't hold it in. You can't. Yeah. Now, it's been a minute since we've heard your story. Why don't you touch on a little bit what the sprays have done for you and okay. how they're helping other people that you're working with? Okay, gosh, they've done so, so much. Um, probably the first and most significant thing for me uh, was the asthma. And um, people who have heard my asthma testimonial, I don't know if I've actually told the other part of it. So first off, I was introduced to the D Power, uh, which is vitamin D3 and vitamin E, by uh, a minister's wife, and she told me she knew a little bit about my health troubles, and so she took the time to share with me, and I really, really appreciate her to this day. If she hadn't opened her mouth, who knows whether or not I would have come into contact with these products. Um, so she shared it with the D Power with me. She told me all about it. Told me that. You know, they stopped her heart palpitations right in their tracks, and she she shared with me, and I suspect that she knew that I was like I did, I was combative about trying things, and she told me that she did not try the sprays right off the top. She said she tossed them in a the corner somewhere, but you know, when she started having all those heart palpitations, they're they're no joke. She went and found those sprays. She found them, used the D Power, and it stopped her heart palpitations. Uh, immediately that right there grabbed me I didn't hear anything else she said because heart palpitations are so so scary um, and that's all I need to hear so I got more information later on that week I went to a meeting uh, left home with a D power I started trying it that night I had a good night's sleep as, as a matter of fact because I used it w wake up in the morning um, I use it again so for the next two and a half weeks, I'm using the D-Power. I'm going to class, coming home, taking a nap, getting up, going back to class, come home, take a nap. This was my routine because I was so sick that I couldn't mm -hmm. function normally. I had to rest. I had to have a significant amount of sleep in the daytime to be able to just to get up and do uh, normal mm -hmm. things. And so uh, I did that. Two and a half weeks later, I noticed that I wasn't short of breath at all. And I had not been able to say that in at least two, three years. Before that, my asthma never bothered me. It was just sports-induced, uh, but it got really bad. So for me, that was like that was huge. I wasn't even expecting that. I didn't know that vitamin D3 helped with asthma. Had no idea. So I told uh, the minister, I was like, "Oh my gosh, what what is in this stuff? It worked." Um, so I was like, "What else you got?" So I tried the B, the B Boost after that, started getting results with that, my energy. I started taking less and less breaks in the daytime. And by this point, I'm thrilled. I don't know what to do with myself by this point. So um, I noticed that I, after a while, didn't even know where my inhaler was, my rescue inhaler. And I was using that thing all day, every single day. I had to have my asthma inhaler next to me. 
and that just completely changed. So that was the biggest change that I had right off the bat. And for people with asthma and Dr. Denise, I know that you know about uh, mm-hmm. lung issues, respiratory issues, uh, mm-hmm. asthma, and so forth. But it, it's huge. It's huge. So yeah. that was the first, yeah. Uh, yeah, testimonial that I had using the Team Effort Network phrase. It was quite amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, one thing you mentioned about the asthma was the heart palpitations. And that is a scary, scary thing. Oh, and I'm sure those, yeah, those who experience that, it's like your heart just starts running off. And it's like it's, it's just boom. It's like it just takes off beating. Heart, right. heart, and heart. It, and it just, yeah, and it's, it, it's like there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. I pride myself on being able to control my breathing, to relax. Yeah. You know, I was a PE major, for Christ's sake, and pardon me. And I could not do anything about it. That was mm-hmm. so, so scary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you don't know if it's going to stop, and you don't know when it's going to stop. And if you don't, if you don't really try to find some type of way to relax yourself, or to you know pace yourself through it, uh, you know you could you, you could pass out. So right. that that you know, heart palpitation is a very very scary thing to experience. So and I thank God that the vitamin D helped me with that as well because I, I hated waking up with with one of those happening. Yeah. And you just didn't know what was going to happen when that happened. And it's right. amazing. I haven't had that since we've been on, and I, don't, I think I haven't either since you've been taking the, the deep power. That's correct. I have wow. not had it since I've been taking the deep power. As a matter of fact, um, shortly okay. after that, I was laying in the bed. It was at night, um, probably about 1 o'clock in the morning, and I smell smoke. I wake up out of my sleep, um, and I realize right away, okay, the neighbor's house is on fire. I, I sleep with my window wow. open. Yeah, so I get up. I'm already panicked because I know a whiff of smoke will send yeah. me to the ER with an asthma attack, you know, yeah. and I could very well lose my life. So I'm throwing clothes on. I, I manage to get down the stairs and out the door. My heart's racing. And mm. it was so much smoke outside, you couldn't even see down the street. So I'm walking in the direction. I'm just, I pick a direction, I just start walking. So I'm walking, I stop at a neighbor's house because I'm winded by now, and I asked them to call 911. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I, when I went out the door, there was a police officer there, and I instructed him to call an ambulance. Mm-hmm. And I said, I have asthma, I'm just trying to get away from here. I, he was, like, barking out instructions. I totally ignored him. I was just trying to get away from that smoke. Got to the neighbor's yeah. house, had them call 911, and I just kept on walking, trying to get away from the smoke. So I finally get to a corner, uh, University and Martin Luther King in, in Berkeley, where there's no smoke. So I sit down on the ground. I'm waiting for the ambulance. The ambulance comes, puts me in the back, drives me to the hospital. I get to the hospital, and by this time, my throat feels a little raw. And they check me over. Um, the doctor talks to me a little bit because uh, I told him I had asthma. There was a fire. You know, I smell like smoke. And, you know, they release me. I get home and I realize, oh, my God, I'm still alive. I didn't have an asthma attack. <laughs> it, was just, it was just so outside of anything I was used to experiencing this. And I hadn't even been on the, the spray, the deep power, for uh, two months yet. It had not even been two months. I had added the bee boost by this time. And I still had so much energy. As a matter of fact, Don Joseph, one of the leaders here in Northern California, he came and picked me up, and we went to do a super sack <laughs> training. That wow. Time. Yeah, wow. and I had, I don't even know if I got any sleep between coming home from the hospital. <laughs> but it was, wow. it was just so wild. And that was like, okay, this stuff is crazy, and I love it. It, it was just so amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Amazing yeah. Yeah. You know the joy of that is that I can I can really uh, relate to what you're saying. Just the walking fast, rushing, <laughs> tri- put, you know, at one point would trigger as a type because you you again your heart starts palpitating. Mm-hmm. You can't catch your breath. You move quicker than you should have. And I remember oh. at the big event, Akisha, when we when we met each other for two seconds. Uh-huh. You know, we were so passionate. Oh right, all right, right, yeah. We just like boom, b- bounced at each other, twirled around, we were gone. <laughs> and I yeah. think that's because. That moment, if something was happening, that could have triggered an asthma attack. Right. I don't know if yeah. it was something in the air, but yeah. There is, but you, you okay, I, I remember exactly what it was. And this is a trip because 
Okay, it was cigarette smoke. So we're in the casino. This is where the event was. Yes. And yes. in Las Vegas, you know, they smoke everywhere. So yes, even out air, there was outside there was smoke. Right. I yeah. I didn't right, see any kids smoke. It, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, so I, I'm I'm having this reaction. Okay. And mind you, it, it was not a physical reaction. I was not having an asthma attack, but I had never made the mental shift to catch up with my physical results from being on the sprays. All I kept thinking was, oh, my gosh, I'm inhaling so much cigarette smoke and, and all of this, these traces of, of cigarette smoke, it, it's in the air. I don't like it. I'm out of here. But along with that, I think I actually was, I caught a bug, and I was in the, mm-hmm. the, yeah, the condo for at least two days straight. But it was the cigarette smoke that drove me out of there. Mm-hmm. But I had, I wasn't even having an asthma attack. It was the mental shift that I had never made. So the sprays had my back. The sprays mm-hmm. had produced a physiological <laughs> change in my body and with my lifestyle. But mentally, I hadn't made the shift yet. To this day, mm-hmm. cigarette smoke does not bother me, and that's never, ever been the case. It's just I couldn't, I couldn't fathom being at this point in my life where these outside triggers don't trigger an asthma attack. I am yeah. so, so grateful. I just I don't know what to do with myself. Like I, said. It's just, <laughs> I think that's why I'm so excited all the time. It's just not really knowing what to do with myself. It's just so incredible. Uh, yeah. Got. yeah, it's a blessing because I mean, things was you deal with asthma, and respiratory conditions. I mean, just different scents like cologne was one of my things. Mm-hmm. Like if there was a cologne that was just woo, too much, oh my goodness, I'd start coughing. I couldn't stop coughing. Right. You know, the coughing, you know, go on this coughing spell, and the coughing would trigger asthma attack. Mm-hmm. So I'd always be praying. I'd say, Lord, please don't let anybody come up with, you know, with strong cologne or a strong perfume. Uh, so it was all these little different scents and. And, uh, and and things that would uh, cause you to run away from the crowd uh, to, to, you know, to keep that asthma attack. But like you said, you know, the sprays really do help. And there's been times when I have had that cough, not, not recently, but you know how you get, when you have that cough, like when we used to have asthma attacks and you start coughing, you know that asthma attack will come. And uh-huh. then have you ever taken that D power and sprayed that D and it cuts the thing off just like that? It's almost like it stops it. You know, Dr. Dees, I'm going to be honest, the <laughs> asthma attacks just stopped right away. I didn't have one. It's, I never even noticed that I wasn't short of breath or had an asthma attack. But in that two-and-a-half-week period, I didn't have any trouble at all. So I, think you, I think you're absolutely right. I just didn't notice. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it's, 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 what happens is your lungs get filled with all this mucus. Yeah. And, it, and it, gets, it gets more than you can handle, and it begins to clog up. You're breathing, you're breathing. So what happens, that mucus has got to come up. And the right. coffee is trying to get it up, but for some reason it just won't come. But that deep power, it just, it's almost like it goes in there, collects it, and forces it out. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it actually does. I was, I was going to say, too, I suffered with lung infections. So every time I turned yeah. around, I had a respiratory infection. Yeah. And this went on for so many months, um, back to back. Um, I was always in the ER, but I can say that, and and I believe it was the cell energy and the deep power, but mm-hmm. I have not had an infection since, it, it, uh, I forget exactly when, but it was sometime between late August and early November last year. And <laughs> those kind of results right there, that's life changing because I was in the I was in the bed all the time and I'm not a homebody. I'm all, always out and on the go, and I would be like chained to my bed because I literally could not breathe. Um, you know, you take a few steps and then you collapse on the bed because you just don't have it in you. And then, right. yeah, and it's dangerous. And then I had severe arthritis. Then so I literally some days I couldn't walk. But all of that completely changed, and just the magnitude of that, it bowls me over some days when I think about how good God has been. I just, I, oh, yeah. I am so grateful. So, so mm. grateful. Ooh, I am with you, Akisha. My gosh, I hear you, girl. And, yeah, uh, yeah this place has been a blessing like that. We know that uh, those who deal with asthma, uh, respiratory conditions, um, uh, this, like this summer, this weather, that we've dealt with. I'm not sure how it's been in California, but we've had some, you know, very 
humid, hot, it's 90 really? degree, 90 degrees of weather. It's just been, it's almost been impossible. And that's a challenge for me. That's because when I go out in weather like this, it's suffocating. Right. So you walk out the door and it's like your oh. air cuts off because yeah. of my lung capacity. My lung capacity is still only 46%. Now, you're thinking that 46%, I'm only using 46% of my lungs, but thank God I'm not, you know, I'm, I haven't had an asthma attack. Right. And I'm still able to get about. But this weather becomes more of a challenge because it takes even more of my, yeah. of my lungs to work over time. But I have to thank God for the sprays because, you know, like you said, we haven't had an asthma attack since we've been on them. And that's one thing we can say for sure. We have not had an asthma attack since we've been taking the spray. That is so true. That's so true. And I stand behind my testimonial. My gosh, yes. <laughs> These sprays are well, everything. <laughs> yeah, I thank God for them. And I love sharing them. Uh, I love sharing my testimony because people, you know, listen. It's like I, I, met, I, I ran into a, a friend of mine a few weeks ago. Hadn't seen her in over 39 years. Like we were teenage friends. And, um, and we were we had talked like a couple of days, and we got together, we met, and we were talking again. And then I began to share my testimony. Well, it wasn't until I shared my testimony that she began to tell me the different conditions she was dealing with. And she had some stuff she was going through. I mean, osteoporosis, and um, she had uh, something going on with her digestive system. She had a gallbladder removed. She was going there. She was still smoking. So she was really going through some things. And after I shared my testimony, she said, your sprays is what I need. She said, your sprays, okay. yep, yeah. yeah. Yes. So, yeah, so, yeah. great story. And it, and it takes courage to admit that you need to do something different and yeah. position yourself to do mm -hmm. something different and then to step out on faith and begin mm -hmm. doing something different. And that's yeah. when you start to, you know, see results, you know, the results yeah. of your faith. Yeah. yeah, I like that you said that, Acacia, that it does take uh, faith to really to realize that you need to do something different. Because yeah. you ever know that somebody's going through something and they just kind of like they want to do the sprays, but they're so they're so trustworthy of their doctor. They're like, well, no, nope, I'm going to take this medication. I've been taking this long. And it's like they know they need to do something different in order to get better. But you see it in their face and they want to, but they're so conditioned of yeah. taking that medication that they keep saying, it's not working. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've had three family members within, I'd say, the last two months or so that have been actually taken off all of the medication <laughs> that they were on because a, a new doctor steps in and goes, why are you on all of this? What, what are you taking wow. this for? What are you taking that for? Because the previous mm -hmm. doctor had them on that medication, and I'm not trying to discourage uh, doctors. But right. you have to you have to put yourself in a position where you are the main player in making decisions for your health, and mm -hmm. a, a lot you know is centered around just educating yourself. And that doesn't mean that you have to go to the library and grab books and and look up you know medical terms or whatnot. It just means that you know you just you use the sensibilities that you already have. You know, mm -hmm. my body you know, was created uh, with these systems and, you know, they thrive when I put basic nutrition inside of me. So what is it going to take for me to get better or to maneuver myself in a place where I can begin to get better? Well, it's going to take nutrition. It's going to take all natural things, not, you know, these chemically produced uh, or these synthetically produced uh, things. And I, I don't want to get into, you know, the evils of the pharmaceutical industry or anything like that. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. it is. You know, I like the way Mel Gill say, Mel Amy says, you know, Google it. Everything you <laughs> need you to know, <laughs> is, it is out there now. I mean, everything that we're sharing on, on the call, Google it. Don't confirm yeah. it. You know, don't take our word for it. Just right. type it in the system and then compare research to research. Let's just take one person's research study paper on it. And Google, I mean, go from writer to writer. Just see what's being said. Get better. Do the research for yourself. Right. Because it is your body and it's your health. And then take the information to your doctor. Because then your doctor is going to know some of it. Exactly. They're not going to know all of it, but they're going to know some of it. And they're right. going to confirm whether it's good for you or whether it's not good for you. Right. You know, it, it's funny you said that because you, you, I have a blood disorder. And a lot of health professionals don't even have never even heard of it, um, don't mm -hmm. know what it is. And it's 
so when I went back to my doctor, um, and I hadn't seen him in a while. <laughs> that's, that's bad. I hadn't seen him in a while. So by the time we sat down and talked, you know, I had a chance to tell him, I've had all these amazing results, and that's why I'm so happy and, and whatnot, but I want to be tested for this and that. So I was, like, ordering, I was asking him to, to order all these different tests, and he was like, sure. He was just writing them out. I love my doctor, by the way. Um, so <laughs> he he truly is interested in getting down to the bottom of the issues, and, and I really, really like that. And so he, you know, I said, he asked me, he said, so so what's going on? You know, what what, what is it? And I said, okay, I'm going to tell you. Are you sure you want to hear it? So I told him, I was like, you know, it it it's natural nutrition. It's, it's this nutrition, these sprays that I've been on, it's all natural ingredients. I pulled them out of my bag. And he goes, oh, yeah, a nurse over at the hospital showed me those. And I was like, he wow. did. He was like, yeah, he made me sprayed. I was like, well, I got a couple. You want them? He said, sure. I said, are you going to use them? And he just laughed at me. And he goes, sure. He said, I'm going to be climbing the walls. I said, yeah, you are. <laughs> so I gave him the cell energy and a Super 10. That was all I had on me at the time. But my doc- I have my doctor on a couple of the sprays because wow. yeah, at some point you have to be honest and go, okay, this is what my my body was designed to work off of. Give it mm-hmm. to me. You know, mm-hmm. it's as simple as that. Yeah, the funny thing about it, the, the, you know, the hesitation I think folks have about sharing with their doctor, they think they're going to offend their doctor. Right. You yeah. know, it's like, I don't want to, this is your health. Right. This is your life. This is your life. See, this right. is your life. Yeah. And if your doctor is really interested in getting you better, then you want to share what you're doing that's helping you to help him to get you better, her, to get exactly. you better. Exactly. So don't and be I offended. told him, I said, I have something for you that would help you with your patience. And I said, yeah. I can give it to you. Are you going to use it? He, he said, mm-hmm. yeah. He said, is it is it for the patients? I said, no, it's for you. It's to help you. Because I, <laughs> <laughs> I was concerned about him because okay. he does so much and he treats so many patients. I mean, I feel sorry for the guy. He has a huge <laughs> practice and not all that yeah. many resources. So. You know, he needs help, too, and I think that's one thing that gets lost on us is that, you know, doctors are just people. and They're not superhuman. Yeah. They need mm-hmm. these sprays just as much as we do, if not yeah. more. Yeah, that's true. They need to be educated on nutrition. Yes. They know pharmaceutical, but they need to learn nutrition that's just right. the same way we do. That's right. They wow. need to make that mental shift as well. Yeah. Well, Akeisha's for a great call. I hate to cut this conversation off because I'm having a <laughs> yeah, good time yeah. talking to you. Let's bring in Pastor Dale. Pastor Dale, you have anything to say to Akeisha before we let her go? Well, I think that's an amazing call, and I, I was just listening to, you know, you both tell your stories about, you know, your rep- respiratory issues, and I'll, mm-hmm. I don't think anybody can really appreciate uh, how serious that is unless they've either had it or they've had the help somebody who's, who's, who's had an attack. And, uh, you know, to think about, you know, I see those commercials of what an asthma attack looks like, and uh, they say it's like an elephant sitting on your chest. You can't breathe. Yeah. You're trying to find yeah. a way to breathe. And, uh, you know, I have, I have a couple of grandchildren who have asthma attacks. And I tell you, that's just, that is one of the most frightening things to be in is to see somebody going through an asthma attack who can't breathe and there's nothing you can do to help them. You know, yeah. you can't give them any air. You can't help breathe for them. I mean, it's just, it's just, I mean, it's just painful watching. Uh, yeah. can, I can just imagine the fear of the person who is actually going through it and, uh, and have gone through it for year after year after year and then to find something, a natural vitamin spray that brings you the relief that nothing else could bring you. I'm telling you, that that has to be a story that can never not be told. And uh, so I, you know, just listening to you guys' story and just, it just, again, brings credibility to why we talk so much about this product and why this product is so, so fabulous and what it has done to change people's lives. So, uh, you know, your stories alone just lets us know, you know, we have the right product for the time and the season that we're living in today. Thank you, Keisha, again. Great job. Great call. Glad to have you on. Absolutely. Thanks mm-hmm. for having me. And I'm so, so glad you have such a paramount testimonial 
you know, the testimony of the why you're here today is, you know, it's incredible, incredible, incredible testimonial. So it's glad to hear, I'm glad to hear your voice. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yeah, Pastor, yeah. Pastor Dell's testimony is just incredible. Well. I mean, it just, it just, it just, <laughs> you don't know what to say. <laughs> right. You don't know what to say. My goodness. Yeah. And, uh, that's one of those testimonies you just gotta, you, you got to, uh, you gotta hear for those who haven't heard it. So, um, wonderful testimonies that we get. I mean, just these testimonies are just incredible. I mean, incredible. And we're going to have family, uh, a lot of these wonderful testimonies to share at the big event on the Saturday the 26th. And, uh, preferably we'll get some time in there to have Pastor. So you guys have, if you haven't heard this testimony, we have got to, Pastor, Joe, you've got to share that testimony at the event. Preferably you have some pictures because I know a lot of pictures were taken when you were in that uh, position. And I just think that's one of the stories that um, uh, that needs to really be shared around the world because that's just unheard of. That was nothing short of a miracle. You know, I mean, whew. anyway, um, let me stop it. The Big Event family, make sure you're here Saturday, September 26th for the East Coast Regional because you're going to meet these wonderful people. You're going to hear some life-changing testimonies that's going to blow your mind. You're going to hear about vitamin sprays and how the health and, uh, wellness, uh, health and wellness industry is just on the rise. People are, are looking to get better. They want to feel better. They want to live longer. Um, and the, the wellness industry is where this decade is devoted to. And you want to learn how to get yourself in position to benefit from that. So please, representatives, if you know you're going to be here, please go to the, the website and go ahead and register. Uh, make your reservation so we can have a good head count and get a lot of things done in advance. Uh, instead of the last minute. So go to www.vitaminsprayisnow.com to register uh, for the event and to get your information in regards to the Greenbelt Marriott. And know that on Friday, the day before the event, the 26th, we will be getting together at 7 o'clock for meet and greet. And uh, we will meet there in the lobby of the Greenbelt Marriott and we'll have that information uh, for you um, next week. Uh, well, it's been a great call. Akisha, you have been fantastic. Love talking to you. Looking forward to having you back again already. And uh, so let's go out to Atlanta, Georgia, with one star, Dr. Kevin Bond, with our quote for today. Kevin, are you there? Pastor, sign me up again, guys. Just sign me up again. Wow. Can you hear me okay, Pastor? Hey, incredible. Yes, sir. Woo. Yes, sir. Wow. How's everybody doing? Nikisha, you are awesome, sis. Congratulations. So proud of you. So excited for you. And I tell you guys, that's, this is why we're in the business. This is Pastor Nikisha. Oh, it Pastor is. Dennis. This is why we're in the business. This is yeah. the business. This mm-hmm. is the business. What Nikisha has experienced, if one person, Mel and Amy Gill is all about that one person, one person at a time, the next person at the time, ladies, you've got to continue to talk these sprays up because they work. We're getting mm-hmm. tremendous testimonies out here in the ATL because the sprays work. And, you know, Pastor Nikisha, one thing I love about you and Pastor Dale if, this, if these sprays wasn't working, we wouldn't be on this call today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because we got people that have integrity all across the United States and around the world. And if they weren't working, they wouldn't be telling us about the sprays working. Isn't that powerful? Yeah. That's what really yeah. gets me is the fact that the caliber of people that we have in our network from East Coast, West Coast, South, you know, North and South of the, of the United States and around the world, people just – love the sprays, but they work, ladies and gentlemen, and there's nothing new about the, the vitamins. The vitamins have been around for eons, right? We're just talking about the delivery system and, of course, the wonderful business model that we have. So, guys, it is your obligation. It's almost as close as letting people breathe. It's that almost close to people breathing. You want people to breathe every day, right? You want them to have a mm-hmm. great life. You've got to tell people about these sprays, guys. Just let them know about the sprays, and believe me, they're going to make an intelligent decision and say, yes, I need to know more about these sprays. I need to purchase the sprays. How do I get involved? How do I open up my own business in the sprays? And believe me, so talk to everybody, guys. Help. Go to, start going to health fairs. There's going to be a lot of them this fall. I can tell you guys, there's going to be a lot of health fairs. Go to as many as you can and just network and do what you can to get your exposure. That's the key. You want to get exposure uh, to the marketplace, guys. We've got about, what, in the, well, in the state of Georgia, we got eight million people in the state of Georgia, guys. And just in Metro Atlanta, Pastor Dale, Pastor Dale, and Akeisha, we got uh, 5.5 million <laughs> just in Metro Atlanta. 
Isn't that crazy? Woo, man, I'm, I'm <laughs> over half of the population is in Metro Atlanta. And you think we're not talking it up every day? Because we're the only ones that have the sprays. We're the only ones. Everybody we talk to never heard of the sprays. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. So we're just excited. So we want you to have the first opportunity, guys, to tell people about the sprays. Uh, just continue to share, 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 and invite, invite, invite to the wonderful network. And the reason why, because we want to be the first. We want to be the first because when they hear about the sprays, they want to, you want them to think about your name, your business card, your website, and believe me, not only are you going to get a customer, you're going to get a, a lifetime business partner, and guess what? It's going to start to, to explode as it is all across the world, and that's what's going to happen, guys. So continue to talk. Talk up the business, guys, and stay excited. The teacher so proud of you. Keep moving, my dear. Keep going forward, and keep sharing those wonderful sprays and information about our wonderful business as well. Hey, guys, real quick. Hey, let's get to the quotes real quickly. Got three quick quotes for you today. Hope you enjoy these quotes, guys. I am so excited about encouraging you today. I get encouraged just being on the call, Pastor Newsom, you know. Just get encouraged with being on the call. Hey, the first quote of the day is from Steve Schultz. He says, the day is what you make it, so why not make it a great one? Uh, you all going to make it a great one today. You already started by being on the call. So remember that, guys. This is a great day, so make sure it's a great one as well. Hey, y'all, uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson says, write it on your heart that every day is the best day in the year. Oh, I love that one right there, guys. Right now, every day, today is the best day in the year. And, guys, when you have that type of attitude, People are going to want to find out what you know, what are you doing that makes you so excited, guys. So I'm going to tell you, not a lot of people are excited like we are. We've got to share that information. Hey, the last quote of the day, guys, is from Seth Godwin. He said, optimism is the most important human trait because it allows us to involve our ideas, to improve our situation, and to hope for a better tomorrow. That's one of the goals and dreams of Melanie McGill, ladies and gentlemen, and the entire team network is to really have a better tomorrow for each and every one of us, guys. That's what really gets down to the heart of Melanie McGill is to really make a better tomorrow and a better today for you as well. Guys, stay excited about this wonderful opportunity. We have the best leaders. We have the best products. We have the best comp plan, and we have the best delivery system on the planet. Back to you, Pastor Denise, Pastor Bailey. And uh, this is Lakeisha. God bless you guys. You guys have a great day. Thank you, Kevin Vaughn. Thank you so much, sir, for your energy, for your love, passion, and for those quotes. Well, Lakeisha, that's it, lady. Any, any closing words before we let everyone get back to work? <laughs> that she's off and gone. Well, family, it has been a great call. Thank yes, each and every one of you. Yeah for being here. We've heard some wonderful information. As you know, Keisha suffered asthma for a while. Myself suffered asthma for a while. We can testify Mm -hmm. and our testimony stands strong on how the vitamin sprays has helped us tremendously. Neither one of us have had an asthma attack since taking the sprays. All glory be to God. We thank God for these sprays. So you get out there and you make sure you're sharing these vitamin sprays. Make sure you're listening uh, to what people are dealing with what they may be facing, and you share what you have. Uh, get the information. Listen to the testimonies. Listen to the calls. They're recorded. Thank God for Terry White. And he records each one of these calls every day, and he posts them on YouTube. They're easy to find. Just type in Terry White if you have to. I'm pretty sure his calls will pop up on YouTube. We type in Team Effort Lifestyle Call. They will pop up. They're there. They're on Facebook. Go to Team Effort Network's Facebook page. There's wonderful stories that's being uploaded on there every day. So the tools are in your hand. It's made so easy. And then we have an incredible website. My God, the website breaks it all down. So go to the website. You can tell them whatever you want about the company. Uh, family, thank you guys. Don't forget, register for the big event, Saturday, September 26th. I'll be back with us tomorrow morning. Today is Thursday. Get to a TTP in your neighborhood. Today, share the share, share, and don't forget to join Mr. T and Akisha tonight at 8 o'clock p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time to more hear more great things about TMS Network. Pastor Dell, anything to say before we close out? No. Uh, looking forward to tomorrow, guys. Uh, we're going to wrap this, this week up with a bang tomorrow. You want to be on the call tomorrow, get some great training. Talk to you then. That's it. Be back tomorrow, family. Get off this phone. Get out there and go make a difference in someone's life. Know that you are loved. 
you. I appreciate it. Have a blessed day. Um, purpose. Mwah.